It's Saturday night in Death Valley, and here comes your fighting tigers of LSU. Those are the words public address announcer Dan Bourne says during every LSU football game. On game day, Tiger Stadium becomes the fifth largest city in the state of Louisiana, with over 100,000 fans packing the stadium. It has been called one of the most dreaded road playing sites in all of college football and carries the nickname Death Valley. Year after year, Tiger Stadium has voted one of the greatest sites to watch football at both the collegiate and professional level. But what is the history of Tiger Stadium? Tiger Stadium was constructed in the early 1920s and opened on November 24, 1924, when LSU hosted Tulane. Its first phase included an east and west stands, which held a seating capacity of about 12,000 people. Seven years later, in 1931, the sides were extended upward to accommodate an additional 10,000 fans and raise the capacity to 22,000. The story behind this was athletic director T.P. Skipper Heard learned that LSU president James M. Smith had $250,000 earmarked for dormitories. Heard sold Smith on the idea that the president could have the dormitories simply by raising the stands on both sides of the stadium and extending them to each goal line. This not only enabled the dormitories to be built underneath the stands, but it also expanded the stadium. LSU also played its first night game that year, and the stadium's seating capacity was increased to 46,000 with an addition of 24,000 seats in the north end, making Tiger Stadium a horseshoe configuration a few years later. The next phase of construction took place in 1953 when the stadium's south end was closed to turn the horseshoe into a bowl, increasing the seating capacity to 67,720. Halloween night 1959, Billy Cannon made his famous 89-yard punt return to lead number one LSU past number three Ole Miss. Legend has it, the families near the campus lakes came running out of their homes. In the summer of 1985, refurbishing began on the stadium as they decided to waterproof the east and west stands, and 25,000 chairback seats were added to replace the old bench-type seating. In 1986, the playing surface was moved 11 feet south to provide more room between the back lines of the north end zone and the curvature of the stadium fence, which surrounded the field. It also put the playing surface in the exact center of the arena's grassy surface. Also during that year, Tiger Stadium once served as a dormitory for approximately 1,500 students, and while Broussard Hall, then LSU's athletic dorm, was being built, the LSU football team lived in Tiger Stadium. Prior to the 1987 season, more seats were installed at the upper portion of the west lower stands. The stadium seating arrangement was also renumbered to make all the seats a uniform size. Another set of improvements were completed in 1987 when the north and south stands were waterproofed and newer bleachers were installed to replace the older ones. The addition of bleacher seats in 1988 brought the stadium capacity to 80,150. One of the most famous moments in Death Valley history took place on the night the Tigers moved the earth on October 8, 1988. When Tigers quarterback Tommy Hudson threw to Eddie Fuller for a winning touchdown against Auburn, the explosion of the crowd was so thunderous it caused an earth tremor that registered on the seismograph meter in, the L in LSU's geology department across campus. The goalpost fell for the first time in 1997 as all of America witnessed one of the most explosive nights in the history of the Grand Stadium when the Tigers upended number one ranked Florida in front of a national televised audience. Prior to the 2000 season, 11,600 seats were added with the installation of East Upper Decks, bringing the capacity to nearly 92,000. In addition to the new Upper Decks, 70 skybox called the Tiger Dens were built giving Tiger fans luxury accommodations. In 2000, the goalpost came down twice. Immediately after the Tigers upset then number 11 ranked Tennessee 38 31 in overtime, the capacity crowd of 91,682 flowed onto the field of Tiger Stadium to celebrate the victory. Hundreds of students lined the sidelines in the back of the north end zone as the Tigers held the Vols scoreless in overtime for the victory. The goalposts came down again in the final home game of the 2000 season as the Tigers posted a 30 28 win over Alabama, their first victory of the Crimson Tide in Tiger Stadium since 1969. The 2003 season saw Tiger Stadium take it to another level during LSU's national title run as the team, along with the fans, captivated the national media almost on a weekly basis. CBS televised Matt Mock's last-minute game-winning pass to Skylar Green against Georgia for a crowd of 92,251, while ESPN was on hand for a dominating 31-7 victory over Auburn. Throughout the 2005 season, LSU continued to expand Tiger Stadium with the West Side expansion. This $60 million expansion added 3,255 club seats, a new press box, and upper decks on the west side of the stadium. 
completed by the 2006 season, this expansion increased the stadium capacity of Tiger Stadium to 92,400. This addition allowed LSU to continue to average over 90,000 fans per game. The 2007 National Championship season featured some of the Tigers' most exciting moments, including a 28-24 win over Florida on October 6th. Top-ranked LSU overcame a 10-point fourth-quarter deficit to beat the ninth-ranked Gators in front of 92,910 fans, the then-largest crowd in the stadium history, and a primetime CBS nationally televised event. Just two weeks later, Matt Flynn connected for a 22-yard touchdown pass with one second remaining to give LSU a 30-24 victory over Auburn in a game televised by ESPN. LSU rallied from a deficit of 17-7 at halftime and trailed 24-23 with three minutes left in the contest to capture the electrifying win. In 2009, major technological advances were made when Tiger Stadium added an 80-foot wide high-definition video board to the north end zone of the facility. Called one of the largest video boards in all of college football, the HD board measures 27 feet high and 87 feet wide. In August 2010, LSU Vice Chancellor and Director of Athletics Joe Oliva and the Tigers Athletic Foundation launched a campaign to preserve and restore the look of Tiger Stadium. The 428 windows on the north side of the stadium were completely refurbished. The 300 remaining windows on the east and west side of the stadium were completed by the 2013 season. Prior to the 2012 season, construction was complete on the first part of the west side plaza that included new gates, All-American and Hall of Fame plazas, and the National Championship Plaza that showcased the past, present, and future of LSU football. The 2012 season saw the Tigers shatter the total attendance record, packing in a combined 741,005 fans for eight games. It represented the 8th consecutive season that LSU averaged over 92,000 fans per game. The Tigers knocked off 3rd ranked South Carolina 23-21 with a spectacular 4th quarter on October 13th in front of 92,734 fans. The win was LSU's 22nd consecutive home triumph, representing a school record. Arguably the most anticipated game in Tigers stadium history occurred on November 3rd against top ranked Alabama. After weeks of buildup, a school record 93,374 fans and nearly 1,000 credential media saw the tide escape with a 21-17 victory. However, the atmosphere that evening left an indelible image for many. ESPN personality Scott Van Pelt, attending his first LSU home game, said the following two days later on his radio show, There's nothing I would put ahead of that that I've ever seen. The 2014 season featured the opening of the South End Zone expansion, increasing Tiger Stadium's seating capacity to 102,321 seats. LSU averaged a school record 101,723 fans for seven home games, recording sold-out attendance figures of 102,321 for its home game against Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and Alabama. The Tigers in 2015 posted victories before three sellout home crowds in excess of 102,000, including wins over 18th-ranked Auburn and 8th-ranked Florida. The 2015 home schedule was marked by a pair of unusual occurrences. The season opener versus McNeese State was stopped in the first quarter due to severe lightning and eventually canceled when the lightning persisted throughout the evening. And LSU in 2015 held an impromptu home game against South Carolina in Tiger Stadium after severe flooding in Columbia, South Carolina, the week prior to the game forced the contest to be moved to Baton Rouge. LSU entered the 2018 season having won 78 of its 91 games in Tiger Stadium over the past 13 seasons. That stretch dates back to the start of the 2005 season and includes wins over 22 top 25 teams. The Tigers shattered the school record for consecutive home victories with 22 from October 24, 2009 to October 13, 2012. LSU is 108 and 18 at home since the 2000 season, including perfect home records of 7-0 in 2004, 8-0 in 2006, 7-0 in 2010, 6-0 in 2011, and 7-0 in 2013. Only four times since 2000 have the Tigers lost more than one home game, and beginning in the 2017 season, Tiger Stadium added the Skyline Club. Is an open air seating atop the south end zone upper decks. In 2018, they added a beer garden called the Shoot. In 2019, alcohol sales were open stadium wide, and the Tigers saw an attendance of 102,321 people for the game against Florida. LSU has played the majority of its games at night, and the Tigers have fared much better under the lights than during the day. Since 1960, LSU is 201 59 and 3 at night in Tiger Stadium, compared to a 21 22 and 3 record during the day over that span. I hope to make it to a night game at Tiger Stadium one day and experience the amazing game day atmosphere at LSU. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Let me know what stadium I should do next as well. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.